In today's video, I'm going to be in PF Sense and I'm going to explain how you allow a website through a DNS BL list or DNS block list. So as an example, in my PF Sense setup, currently Twitter is blocked and that's through a DNS block list. The way to do it is if you go onto your main dashboard, you go down to your PF blocker NG uh, tile. So this is the DNS block list and it's Steve Black, the one that I've used. So that's the list of IP and domain addresses that I've asked it to block. And this is how many packets has been blocked as a result. So what I'm gonna do is clear that out for a moment so we can just tidy up the results. And we'll just click all and that should reset itself back to zero. There we go. Now if we quickly go over to Twitter and just reload that, we wanna trigger that block you can see 21 packets as a result of me refreshing Twitter have been blocked. So click that 21 and you'll start to see some data here. So it will take you through this section. So this is my machine, the source, the date when it happened, on which um, interface it happened on and the destination. So you can now start to see what's, uh, what it's actually blocking. The red padlock means it's been blocked. We can unlock it by pressing the plus. And here it just says the feed that this site was added into was into the fake news gamble social one. So in here, it's got Twitter. It's probably a little bit over the top just to add that top level domain in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow this in. And to render a full website, you'll, you'll notice sometimes you need more than one of these packets to resolve it. What we need to do is just go back to the Twitter ones. Now, something else has updated in the time that I've spoken to you. So let's just reset this back to zero again. And I'll try and do it a bit quicker rather than talking too much. And here we go. We've got the packets down to zero. We will restart that. And now we've got 10 packets. So let's click on those and we'll click the plus and we'll whitelist this. Click OK. We, we, we won't do a wildcard whitelist. We'll do option two whitelist and we can add a description and we can just say Twitter whitelist number one. Click OK and we will try and refresh that. Just clear any cookies and data as well. OK, still not enough. So we need to add a bit more. So let's just repeat the, the process. So clear all the packets refresh go to the packets that have been blocked allow the next one they've been allowed so we want that one incoming telemetry whitelist add a description twitter whitelist two click ok give that a moment we'll update that and we're starting to see some feeds come in now and there we go so that has now done it so we just need to allow list two of those blocked packets and now we're able to resolve twitter so all the other blocks will continue working we've just specifically allowed the one that it's actually blocking at the time live so that is the cleanest neatest way to make sure you whitelist only the site and the associated packets that resolve that website and don't accidentally whitelist anything more than what you need to so i hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching